our special guest, uh-uh. Brian Jordan Jr. And get ready. What Brian Jordan at? I mean, you can still talk to him. Okay, I'm just waiting for the... We're trying to get Brian on here. We're about to bring him on. Brian Jordan Jr. from Sisters. You know, I sung it like they sing it on the... What was it? Sisters. Oh, um... Miss Celia and them. Hi, guys. Brian, what's going on, man? Chilling, man. How you doing? I'm good. We're good. Hi, Brian. Hey, I love your hair. Thank you, fool. I love it, too. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> so look, man, we, first of all, we know that you have a hard stop time because you have a show premiering tonight, a new episode premiering tonight. Yes. So, you know, Brian got stuff to do, y'all. So, <laughs> they with us all day. Right. So look. I love y'all, though. But look, we love you, love you too. And look, congratulations on this amazing role. Congratulations on season two. Yes. Because, you know, most people ain't out here getting season two. But right. you're getting a season two. So congratulations on that. Yes. Um, yeah. So for people who don't know, tell us about the show Sisters and about your character, Maurice. Yeah, for sure. Sisters is a uh, coming of age show about four millennial black women. Um, in Atlanta, matriculating. They're single. They're not single. They go up and down, you know. And um, it, it's just a real, real great view of uh, laughing, loving, healing pain. That's what I like to call it. It's a, it's a dramedy. Um, and so you get all the feels, the happy, the sad, the cry, the die, the laughs, you know, the jokes, the shade. The, it's, all, it's all there. Um, all right. I play a character called Maurice Webb. And he is a best friend and a co-worker to one of the sisters, Sabrina, played by Novi Brown. And Maurice is, uh, I like to call him, because, you know, on a Tyler Perry show, it's going to be some high drama. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going to get killed. Somebody's going to get, you know, it's going to happen. So Maurice is kind of like the rainbow at the end of a storm to me when it comes to sisters. Um, so excited about playing him. And he's, he says a lot. Um, he does a lot. He's very, very funny. He's a gay, you know, black man. Um, in Atlanta, and I'm so glad to be playing something that's so important um, in Atlanta to really, really establish the world. Um, he's hilarious, and I think that, um, you know, in the beginning with Maurice with season one, I was only supposed to be in seven episodes, but I ended up in 19, oh, season wow. one. Nice. And then this, this is I'm in every episode. Yeah. And that bank account, because I know that bank account <laughs> reflected those 19 episodes. <laughs> show, show, show enough, show enough, did. Show enough. What it says about you is that you developed this character into something that was needed, wanted, and appreciated. So that speaks a lot about you and how you brought the character to life. So what wow. played a part in that? Like, what made you be able to, like, you know, people need to know who this is and, and yeah. why this guy is important. Yeah, I, 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 I was so. Um, honored and I don't mean to get deep but I think that there's something to be said about um a homosexual character that is a black man that is not very thin or not very fit or not very you know on television especially on an all black network I think that that was important and so when I got the role because I honestly I'd read for another character and been like considered for another character Uh and when they gave you know me Maurice and it was it was very very quick and um it, it was something that was interesting to me because I didn't see myself in that light. Mm-hmm. And so when it came to portraying something that was so important, so needed, and so many people who hadn't felt seen on television before, um, I felt like uh, it became a responsibility, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so long you work to, when, you're, when you're an actor, you want to make money, you want to stop struggling. Mm-hmm. And um, it went from being like, ah, I finally got my job, I got, got my break, to understanding what was important about the uh, dexterity of the character, the substance, the text, the way that I work, the natural um, instincts, the ground of the character, Mm -hmm. not to get all technical and deep, but I just wanted to make sure that I did a good job with it. And also the LGBTQIA culture will wear you out if you don't do things right. Oh no, they just, they just plus out. That's all the extra okay. And I don't think that's, that's not all the, it's so many different, um, I don't even know, know what the word is. It's, it's, it's delicate, so you have to be careful with the words, right. but the, the different genres of person inside yeah. of the community. Wow. Okay. I, I like, didn't know. It's crazy. So Maurice, from the episodes that I've had the opportunity to see, is definitely a little spicy. 
Um, he's a great dresser. That's that's oh, another I thing that. that I know. And so I've also noticed that similarity between him and you. Like I've well, so thank you, thank you, Don. And like this man is a <laughs> is a very snazzy dresser. Put together. So thank you, you. Did you get any input when it came to the look of Maurice? Get any input? I don't know if I got it, but I took it. I took it. Um, I, you know, I, what I will say is it's also important to me that men of a certain size look and feel just as great as anyone else. And I believe that there's so many opportunities for larger women and, and they become more regular to have um, fashion options. And it's not the same for men. And so I'm an advocate for that. Um, and I was, you know, the first season we had, we, so we had two different costumes. Season one, we had a costumer who was fantastic. Her name is Crystal Hazlett, who is now a series regular on the show, so she can't costume oh, us wow. anymore. She graduated. Shout out to Crystal. Oh, okay. Yo, no. She's, she's a producer. On, she was already a producer on the show, uh -huh. but she's now a series regular on the show. And so she and I really worked together, season one. Season two, I kind of was like, this is what we're going to do. This is what looks good on me. You know, you just have to, it's just right. very, very important to be collaborative with those type of things because when a new customer is coming in, you have to let them know who the character, I mean, I, I built Maurice as a character. Right, and I think it's important to make sure that that line continued on to season two. So I've had a lot to say about costume. It's very important to me, uh, style. So how do you feel your character grows in presence in season two? Oh, man. It is, um... It is, uh, what happened to Maurice at the end of season one is something that um, was devastating to do, to play, and also to watch for me. And what we see in season one, in season two is him um, coming out of it. He's, you know, he's, I mean, he's still dealing with it. He, you know, the, uh, episode one in season two, we're still in the hospital. And, um, but we get out of the hospital and we see him learn from that experience. We also get to like go into his life. Like we go into Maurice's apartment now. Um, we go into, we meet some of his friends, right. we, see, we deal with some of his love life and some of his past mm -hmm. things. So it, it gets really, really deep with him. Um, and I, I just think that Maurice in the first season was great. Funny joke here and there. We see the bank, he's a joke. But I think that what's important to also show about gay people, um, gay black men in particular, when they are auxiliary to black women, is that they are also human. Mm -hmm. Because they, I think that um, in Hollywood, especially when it's non-black producers, gay black men are used as a joke, That's are used right. as inhumane. And so I really, really am so honored to be able to really delve into Maurice's life and to give the full three-dimensional um, scope of his life and just really, really, di you know, dive into, I mean, he's rep he represents so many people. How, I mean, what was your input on doing that? Were, did they give you, did they allow you to come and talk and, and expand on that from that? Or who actually saw that and was like, you know what, we need to expound more on his life and who he is and what he brings to the table? I, Tyler Perry, there is no they. Tyler writes everything, he develops <laughs> everything. Okay. Ain't no they. Okay. So and so I'm, I'm blessed that it ended up like that. And Tyler, I had not had any conversations with him. I think that he recognized what the audience wanted to see. Okay. Um, and, and he did a wonderful job. I will say, I can't wait till people see the full season. He did a wonderful job. And then, you know, inside, after the scripts are written, Tyler and I work really, really hard to develop things and, you know, make changes where we need to change them. He's really, really, he gives you some creative um, collaboration. Mm -hmm. And so he and I work really, really hard to uh, make Marisa fully realized, that's, that's the word, fully realized human that's what's important to see on black television because we don't get those opportunities. Fully realized human. So I'm excited about season two and Tyler and I worked a lot, but Tyler, is, he, he's the boss. He's the <laughs> boss. Okay. So look, when, big, um, big dot. when Maurice gets his spinoff and you guys decide that you need Speaking like to that thing. a best friend, you know, a little cousin, bro, whatever. I got you. I mean, I got I mean, you. Well, I gotta find my part because you the best friend and brother. What I'm gonna be, the auntie who tell y'all like it really isn't drinking. You know, whatever it is. Like a oh, I, I type, auntie, everybody. Everybody. Whatever it is. Let me tell y'all this. Whatever it is, I got y'all. Y'all are so entertaining. Yeah. And see, when I when I can get that cover on that magazine, we can uh -oh. really work. Okay. See, now hold on, Brian, because I, I was gonna get into that because I first became familiar with you yeah. during the um the the interview 
with the quintessential gentleman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll, yes, we'll indeed. We'll absolutely talk about that when Maurice gets his best friend in on the show. I mean, when I get the show, you get the cover. What? Deal? That's crazy. We're going to shake on it? No, we're going to shake on it? Well, see, here, here's the thing. There's, here's the thing. There's something uneven because I can't control me getting the spinoff. One side. No, it doesn't even have to be the spinoff. You said you guys are developing. Mm, got it. Look, thirty oh, got, seconds is good for me. Let's do. Let's do. I don't. We gonna let God decide. No, you know and what? Tyler. You know what? They and want. Tyler. We gonna let God decide. God got this. And Tyler. Tyler is okay. probably the closest person I know to God. So, <laughs> and you know, I think they're close. But it's okay though, because but the conversation is here. People that heard it, I get the show. And I'm the I'm the auntie that drinks a lot. Let's go. And y'all also Let's heard go. that he gets the cover. So gets Let's, the go. Cover. Let's go. Let's I mean, go. So the possibilities are endless. All endless. I want. <laughs> so look, before sisters. Mm -hmm. There was so much more to you. There's the dancer, in which he actually put a little piece on his um on his social media. I'm like, oh okay, okay, let's get it. Old, then, old. I'm so old. I was just having fun. Did you say so old? I am so old. I haven't danced in so long. I was having fun. I was in the gym and that song came on and I couldn't I couldn't help it. Yeah, well, we're gonna be dancing more after November third once this we pray election so. is over. Oh, okay. Yeah, we oh, hope so. Oh, oh. We sure hope so. I, I voted today. What brought you to Atlanta? The dancer, the singer, the actor. Now you're, you know, the star on this big network television show. Mm -hmm. Like, who was the the uh, what was the brand that you were dancing with? Was it Brian ten years ago? Oh, man. Like, what was the brand? Oh, like, who was the um, Brian ten years ago? Oh man, ten years ago, Brian was quitting football. Um, and trying to learn how to be an actor and a singer. I, I didn't start until late, um, late in life. 10 years ago was what, 2010? Yes. Mm -hmm. 2010, I did my first anything. I had never done anything. So what brought me here is um, a lot of uh, trying, a lot of failing, a lot of no's, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of uh, trying again. I I went to school in Louisiana at Louisiana State University and I left Louisiana State University to go to NYU's graduate school at the Tisch School of the Arts. Okay. Um, and I studied acting there. And when I was finished there, I started to do Broadway workshops and I was, you know, did national tours and things like that. Um, and then something happened where I thought I was going to be on Broadway as a star and I got fired from my job. And when I got fired from the job, it really crushed me. I was like, I'm going to be a teacher. I'm done with this, you know, which... I did that about every week for the past 11 years. But um, I decided that I was going to, you know, move to Atlanta and try film and television. And I moved to Atlanta, but I was only there for a year. And then I moved to L.A. And now I'm back in Atlanta. And I've only been back. I moved to L.A. to book a job in Atlanta. And now I'm back. Yep. That seems crazy. It happens all the time. How it's supposed to work out. Yeah. It, and it also happens all the time. A lot of people don't understand. Like, Atlanta is a very big film capital. Like, they film a lot of mm -hmm. things here. But the filming has a lot to do with the tax credit that comes with the filming. Right. But they cast outside of Atlanta. It's a secondary market for actors. Okay. Well, it was. But I think that COVID may be making it a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen, church. <laughs> so, look. How has COVID uh, affected you? You took my question. And, well, you know what? <laughs> Rewind. Ask it. Well, how has COVID affected you, and how has it changed you, if in any way, for the better, for the worse, mm -hmm. or, or indifferent? I think so. I've I've, I've actually um, sustained a very uh, close loss to COVID. Um, I lost my stepsister to COVID, and um, so I I believe that I I incurred a loss, but also I gained um, something better. An angel one and two. And a very, very, very strong appreciation for life. Um, and, and, and grateful. I mean, I'm so grateful to still be here. And I, I've also was able to work. We, we shot season two during COVID. Right. I was able to work. There's so many people unemployed. Um, so it, COVID has taught me so much. I've, there's been losses and gains and, you know, and, but it's taught us so much about our country too. Yeah. Um, our leadership. 
Yeah. And I believe that it taught us that in a time where it was important to learn it as we vote. Y'all go ahead and vote. Please. For those of you who have not voted, make sure you guys Did you vote? Yes, yeah, we, he, he voted. I voted today. Okay. He voted already. So yeah. look, we know that you have to run because it's, it's your time now. Yeah. So look, real quick, um, tell us why people should follow you and tell us why people should watch this. Follow me because I'm adorable, one. And two, and two because I just have a good time on my on my page and I, I love fashion and I think that um it'll give you a scope of who Brian is outside of being Maurice. Watch Sisters because there is something for everybody on Sisters. It's great, it's high drama, it's funny, it's black, it's black, it's high drama, and it's black. <laughs> All and those you know points it's black, too, and right? it's black. Right. Good point. Very good. Very so look. Right, we absolutely appreciate you. We are proud of everything that you're accomplishing. We want you back when you have more than a little bit of time to spend with us. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's not going to be on a Wednesday, though. It, it can't be on a Wednesday. We can't do Wednesday. Right. That's right. Well, definitely do that. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. We appreciate you. We know you have a job to do. Go be great, and we'll be in touch. Thank